I've seen this going around the internet. I've seen it going around several of the uh, sort of the liberal sites, you know, MSNBC, Vox.com, Huffington Post, that kind of thing. I, I'm not saying that I'm not using those specifically. I'm just saying I'm trying to remember. I think Axios did something on this as well. But so the counterpoint that is being presented here is that, well, citizens kill more people than illegals. And I was just doing some number crunching the other night to do some research on this. And if you're talking about in raw numbers, because this is, remember, one of the sticking points that President Trump presented as part of his reason that there is a humanitarian crisis going on at the border and something needs to be done about it and a wall will be a big help in sort of preventing some of those things. And so one of the dumbest counter arguments that I heard out of this was, well, yeah, he's saying that there are all these crimes and all these murders that are committed by illegals, but they're still killing less people than American citizens. In fact, we have American citizens that are killing people more so than all of the illegal immigrants combined. Well, if you're talking about raw numbers, that's actually true. So, for example, if you're looking at the total of FBI crime statistics and looking at the murders that have been committed, and by the way, even the left-leaning fact-checkers like PolitiFact and that kind of thing did affirm that the figures that the president was using were largely accurate. They took some issue with a few other things, but as far as the numbers that he was using, they actually said that those were, were pretty much spot on based on the resources that they looked at. And I'm talking about PolitiFact, Washington Post fact-checker, all of the usual suspects, the usual fact-checking sources. So on this particular point, in raw numbers, they are right that citizens do kill more people than illegals. For example, um, if you're taking the FBI crime statistics total and then subtracting that, because remember the number that the president used was 4,000 murders in two years. So if you're going to look at the data here, we have to remove that 4,000 from the equation because they get counted as murders regardless of whether they were murdered by either citizens or illegals. So let's look at the total number that were killed according to the FBI. Take that 4,000 out of it over the span of two years. Well, if you're looking at that and that's how you work it out, that leaves you with 18,910 according to the 2015 FBI crime stats, which by the way, Murder has actually been on a steady decline since the 90s, and so while the number is probably pretty close, 2015, which is the most recent year that I was able to find, 2015 is actually probably a little bit higher than it is today because we've been on a steady decline for a very long time. And so actually, we're using numbers that are probably a little higher than they ought to be for citizen-committed crimes, but nonetheless, let's just run with that for the time being. And this is what I say whenever I do stats like this. I say, every time you do this, always give the other side the benefit of the doubt as often as you can so they can't say that you're being biased or you're skewing the numbers. So even though the actual numbers are probably a little lower than this when it comes to murder rate by citizens now because these are three-year-old stats, let's just use the inflated stats for the time being and make that assumption give them every advantage when it comes to this. So in raw numbers, it's true, 18,910 is substantially more than 4,000. I mean, it's more than four times what you're looking at when you're talking about the murders committed by illegal aliens. However, why don't we adjust for population? Let's adjust for population on this because we're not looking at how many murders are committed per se. We're looking at the murder rate. We're looking at how likely you are if you're an illegal versus an American citizen, to commit an act of murder. So the citizen murder rate, if you're calculating this per 100,000, would be 5.91 per 100,000. So that's the ones committed by American citizens. If you're looking at that and you're using these stats that even the left agrees are correct, that would make the illegal murder rate 33.06. 33.06 as opposed to the 5.91 per 100,000 by American citizens. That's over six times, almost seven times the murder rate for a regular citizen. So this idea that illegals are not committing murders at a rate comparable to that of an American citizen is just hogwash. It's not even close. 
And again, this is not to say that all legal immigrants are murderers because we're talking about 33% or we're talking about 33 out of 100,000. That's a pretty small number, but it's a lot higher than the small number of American citizens that commit murder. And so this idea that, well, they're not committing as many as American citizens. Well, actually, if you adjust for population, they're committing a lot more. And that's the thing that unfortunately gets overlooked. You can't just look at raw numbers. You have to look at the rate and the likelihood of these things taking place. But furthermore, let's just say for the sake of argument, let's just say for the sake of argument that this were true. Let's say that we calculated out the, the murder rate and chips fall where they may just so happens that illegals are committing less murders than American citizens. Let's just say that happens. It's still not an argument for having open borders. It's still not an argument for not putting forth proper border security and making sure that people that are illegal immigrants are not getting into our country because any murder that takes place within our walls, within the borders of the United States of America that are taking place by someone who is not supposed to be here is a failure on our part to secure our own borders. It is a failure on Congress's part and the federal government because Article 4, Section 4 says it is the federal government's responsibility to protect the states from invasion. And so when we have, for example, here in the state of Alabama, where uh, this horrible incident where an illegal immigrant actually raped a girl in Shelby County, the reason that people get so up in arms about that, because if you're being the victim of a crime, it really doesn't matter to you whether or not the guy's illegal or not. Like you're still the victim of a crime. If you get raped, you get raped and you don't really care whether the guy was an American citizen or not. And the same thing with murder, the same thing with robbery or mugging or whatever else it may be. So I understand it from that perspective. But the thing is, that means that we are allowing crime to be imported into our shores. That there are people that are not even supposed to be here because at least if it happens with an American citizen, even though that's still a horrible thing and the victim doesn't feel any better that it happened to be an American citizen, you're still dealing with somebody that you would kind of have to deal with anyway because human beings are evil. Human beings are a fallen race, and because of that, there's always going to be an aspect of wickedness in all of our societies, no matter how good they are. And there are going to be people that victimize and take advantage of those weaker than them. That is part of the human condition. The second oldest sin recorded in the Bible, because after the first sin with Adam and Eve, would be, of course, the murder of Abel by his brother Cain. So hatred and murder are parts of the human condition, as horrible as it is to think about that. It's the truth. But the difference is, when we're having people murder Americans that are not even supposed to be here in the first place, they would not have been afforded even the opportunity to take those people's lives if we had proper border security. And this is the reason people get up in arms about it, is because it is an easily preventable circumstance. You can't always prevent somebody from murdering somebody else, but if the person's not supposed to be in the legal, uh, supposed to be legally allowed into the country in the first place, and there is a failure on the federal government's part, and there certainly is to keep our border secure, that's the reason that people get up in arms about it. That's the reason that people get passionate about it because they recognize that this is not something that we should have to deal with in the first place. <laughs> Hey, if you want all the latest updates to this channel, you need to go ahead and like this video and subscribe using that little notification bell down there. Now that gets you all the latest updates, political commentary, and any of my Bible classes or studies that I post to this channel. Now, I'm not saying that if you don't subscribe that it's because you hate America and hate Jesus, but I can't think of any other reason why you wouldn't subscribe. <laughs>